Hi, I'm from Rising Wave Labs. We just launched the beta version of Rising Wave Cloud, so today I'm going to show you how to use it to ingest and process streaming data. Let's go to risingwave.com to get access. Click the Access Rising Wave Cloud Beta button and fill out the form. Check your inbox for an email from us to complete the sign up process. Once you've created an account and logged into Rising Wave Cloud, you can see there are three tabs at the top. Under Dashboard, you can get an overview of your account and metrics about your resources and data. Under Clusters, you can create and manage your clusters. Under Console, you can view sources, syncs, tables, and materialized views that are available in your cluster, and issue SQL queries to process and query your data. Since this is the first time we log in, we need to create a cluster first. Let's go to Clusters and click Create Cluster. Currently, there are two pricing plans the free tier and the customized plan. For the demo, we'll choose the free tier. We'll name it demo, choose the region, and click create. You may need to wait a couple of minutes for the cluster to be ready. Since Rising Wave Cloud supports multiple database users for a single account, we need to create a user to log into your cluster and interact with Rising Wave. To do so, click console, then specify the username and password. Now that we have created a user, we can log in. Fill in the credentials and click Login. Once we've logged into the cluster, we can issue queries in the console. Here is the SQL editor. We have set up a few sample Kafka sources and queries that you can run instantly. For this demo, we'll use the third group, Clickstream Analysis. Let's click it and the included queries will be loaded to the SQL editor. Now let's run the first query to create a source. We can select the query and click Run Selected. Within the log panel, you'll see the query was successful and a source was created. At this point, Rising Wave hasn't ingested data yet. It'll do so after we create a materialized view. Now let's run the second query to create a materialized view. The query was successful, and you can see here that the materialized view has been created. Rising Wave will now start to ingest data. Let's query the data in the materialized view. This is done with the third query. If this SQL query includes a limit clause, this grid panel will display the data. Since the main advantage of using a materialized view is that the latest results are always available, we have a timer here that you can use to let Rising Wave rerun the query in an interval. You can see that the view count has been updated from 10 to 14. If you have an application, it can regularly query the materialized view to get the latest values. We can also create a simple visualization by clicking on the Chart tab next to the Grid tab. There are options to create a bar, line, or area chart. Below, you can specify the X and Y labels. The chart will update accordingly if you have the timer on. For the demo, we we'll use some sample queries. Feel free to run your own queries against your own data. If you're using your own source, you can use one of our sample queries and replace the connection parameter information and schema with your own values. Now we can go back to the dashboard to see the resource consumption. We can see here the storage used and other consumption and performance metrics. That's all for today's demo. Feel free to test out Rising Wave Cloud to see if it meets your requirement. To access the documentation, head over to risingwave.dev. You can click on the Rising Wave Cloud tab for info on the cloud product, or the Rising Wave Database tab for our SQL reference, integration guides, and more. If you have more questions, head over to risingwave.com where you can join our Slack community or contact us directly. The Rising Wave team is always here to help.